everyone welcome back to Friday crypto my name is chase today we're going to look at bitcoin what to focus on this week uh the weeks ahead uh what to be watching for for to know when we're going to come out of this uh bear market looking at past it can often help uh going into the future obviously nothing has to repeat or rhyme uh, but these are the signs that we could potentially starting to end a bear market is when we start to overtake certain moving averages on a bigger scale, namely the weekly chart. So that's what you see in front of you. So looking at the end of the last bear market, way over to the left here, uh, what do we notice? Well, obviously this time is different because we've never been, you know, multiple weeks under the 200 week moving average, um, you know, but, you know, taking some time to uh, develop a bottom is kind of what the name of the game is. So, do we think that we're going to come out of this and, you know, have a, a kind of a summer bubble like we did in 2019? Probably not, uh, right? The the DXY wasn't going in a parabolic phase back in 2019, right? Uh, like it is now. Um, we weren't in an uh, economic recession uh, like we are, you know, on the horizon now. Uh, so do I think this is coming? Probably not, but... Uh, we're not looking at that. I'm looking at this part and trying to relay the information that, you know, people trying to, you know, panic and you don't want to, you know, trying to catch the bottoms. You don't need to worry about trying to catch the exact bottom. You'll have plenty of time when the bulls start to show up again. And this is what I'm talking about, uh, to watch for. So the eight week EMA in the red, notice how many weeks we spent, right? One, two, three, four, right? Almost five, six weeks hugging that EMA 8 before we moved uh, back up in a bigger way. Um, so uh, even if this doesn't come, right, even if, uh, you know, we, we are at the bottom and we're getting ready to come out of it, uh, you have to, you'll have time. You have time. You need to, you know, be more bearish on your sentiment uh, versus bullish until we start to at least take the first step. The first step is closing above the EMA 8 on the weekly scale. The second step is closing a second weekly candle above the EMA 8 on a weekly scale. The third step, you guessed it, right? A third candle, right? And then you can start to look at the bigger moving averages, uh, namely the 14 week, which we haven't talked about much, but um, as we're going to look at in a moment, can be a pivotal point uh, because you don't want to always, you know, look from the 8 to the 21. That's kind of a big gap, right? Uh, so you have your 8, your 14, your 21, there's even a 34 you can put in here, uh, the 50, then the 100, right? And then you got your big 200-week SMA, which is the slowest moving um, and kind of the line in the sand. So uh, step one, the EMA 8, right? That's our first target. So let's zoom in here, right? Uh, the first target would be the EMA 8. The second target will probably be the 14-week. As you note, uh, we wicked right to it um, this couple weeks ago, right? The EMA 14. So if you don't use it, I would suggest starting to use it. Rallies in a bear market will often, you know, either reject off the EMA 8 or the EMA 14. And if you start to get a little bit more bullish, you can still uh, work your way up to the 21. You can even have fake outs up to the 21. But one of those three usually will reject, and usually these first two. The 8 and the 14 can often be good spots to short um, or at least, you know, come out of your, you know, longs that you longed, um, you know, a, a little bit lower, hopefully. Uh, so uh, having said that, right, just the, the, the theme of this video is to have patience and to realize that, you know, even the 2018 bear market, um, we, we spent, you know, a, the better part of three months basically going sideways. Right. We haven't even spent three months going sideways yet. And, you know, a lot of people, uh, myself included, would argue that we could be down here even longer than three months. Right. So um, keep in mind, as the DXY is going up, we're not going anywhere. We're not even going to even think of this possibility uh, unless the DXY has an about face, uh, you know, right turn and 180 uh, back down to the other side. But, uh, you know. Whatever you think is going to happen um, is probably not going to happen. <laughs> so uh, what else do we have to talk about? Uh, nothing. Goodbye. Uh, <laughs> well, we have, what else do we got? Well, we could, we could talk about, you know, the crypto fear and greed index. We haven't talked about that in a hot minute. Uh, we are now, um, as of yesterday, have printed our lowest that we've been in a while. So what does that mean? 
um, likely more pain uh, to follow. Uh, so if you are still with me here, um, <laughs> for the four of you, uh, watch. Let's let's zoom in a little bit and let's see what else we can look at for you know today and tomorrow, right? But I'm going to get to an indicator that um, you know at the end of the video that will be very helpful uh, for your future uh, trades, trading life. Uh, so looking at the EMA eight, that would be our next kind of spot for rejection. Um, looking at that, it's just shy of twenty thousand seven hundred. So if we get up there today, I would expect a nice tidy wick right off of that. You could see that was kind of the low here. 20,700, right? We had some lows right in here, right around that same area, some low back there, right? That close, you guessed it, 20,700. Uh, so maybe we see a wick up to right around that 20,700 20, area. Um, if we close above that, right? It doesn't have to reject, but it's a good spot to short or get out of your positions um, if you bought down in here or if you're uh, wanting to short. Uh, you put your short in right, you know, somewhere around right there and then put a stop loss just above it. Because if we, you know, power through, then the obvious next level is going to be the EMA 14, which is, you know, considerably higher. And then you can just, you know, try again up here. If it breaks through that, try again at the 21, right? Same things. That's how you can kind of, you know, really still make money in a bear market, uh, shorting or at least, you know, offloading your longs, um, that you bought down below maybe or you know shorting in a bear market is usually what you want to do if anything right um, otherwise you just look for the turnaround of the bear which we just talked about the first uh six minutes of this video okay so uh this week i'll be watching for rejections right something like that right look took a big move down last friday or two fridays ago right all week we built back up rejected again and we even made a, a jump to the 14 and then uh, rejection back down. So uh, rinse and repeat, we're in a bear market. We we were in this uptrend, right? Which is a bear flag on the bigger picture, right? Leg down, move up. You can even argue bearish channel. Um, but after move down, moves down, you don't want to see this little uh, paltry higher, high, higher lows, right? Ascending wedge, ascending channels after a drop is bearish. And that proved to be accurate. You know, our last video, we talked about that. We broke out of that. That's a bigger deal than a lot of people give it, you know, credit for. So, um, so so far so good on the lows. Uh, Want to be watching for closes. Uh, meant to, forgot to mention. Um, what? Do you, well, how many closes have we had below 20k? Uh, guess what? Last week was only our second close since 2020, under 20,000. If you believe that or not, there's there's one, there's two right there. Right, that's their only two closes under 20k. So. Keep that in mind that, you know, if we close another week below 20K, that will be our third candle weekly and our second consecutive weekly close under 20K, which be even more bearish, right? Um, so, you know, huge rallies looking at the EMA uh, 8, around 22K, but more likely than not, uh, in my opinion, I think I think we'll probably either reject off the EMA 8 on the daily or the 14, right? Unlikely that we're going to take out this, this top. Uh, around 22k uh, just we, we just need more time right we need more time to build a base or you know print lower lows we need a, a mat, another you know maybe another one of these coming um if we you know keep trending sideways right there's no demand there for it right you can look at on balance volume right obv that's a good indicator of when you know people are coming back uh we don't have any of that yet right there's there's just not demand uh for for crypto just yet right we're in a recession there's, it's probably not going to happen just like that. So be patient. Uh, realize that you know these just take a lot of time to work themselves out. So um, you're not going to miss anything, right? There'll be everyone and their brother covering uh, once once uh, you know the signs are there. Okay. So just stay patient. Do something else. Learn something. Be something. Uh, speaking of learning something, I'm uh, actually studying to be a uh, become a CMT certified chartered market technician. So you can look that up if you don't know what that is. Uh, it's basically you're certified that you know what the hell you're talking about. You know how to read charts. And it's kind of like a degree in uh, reading charts and candlesticks and patterns and all that good stuff. So uh, check that out. Maybe you're interested. Maybe I'll help you become a better trader as well. So speaking of that, what I learned uh, last week in that is a new uh, kind of an indicator, you know, you generally use for the stock market, but this is a good one. Um, what, what is the name of it, Chase? Well, let's go look at it and I'll teach you how to get it. It's free indicator on TradingView if you don't have it already. 
Uh, it's right here, the Fisher Transform. So go type that in. Um, it's it's one of trading these indicators. It's built in. It's not it's someone else designed it or anything. So old older um, uh, indicator, but very useful. So look what it's looking at right now. And you can go back in history and look at uh, not a whole lot of fakeouts on the weekly. You can use it on the daily or the four hour, or the one hour, whatever. And it's pretty useful even there. Uh, it gives you. It's probably the fastest. Uh, the least lagging indicator I've ever seen. And it works very well uh, in calling, you know, reversals uh, on the bigger scales, especially. Uh, so look at it on the weekly, right? It's think about the stochastic. I know it looks very similar, but this is a little bit um, more accurate in my in my book. And you can go look at it uh, more specific when when the tops were. Look at these dates there. It's fascinating. If you go back in history, uh, you could have probably saved uh, yourself a lot of pain to the upside and the downside. Um, so right now on the weekly, it has just crossed, but the orange is the average. We want to really wait until that confirms and starts going parallel down. So this will update um, uh, on, on the weekly close. So we have a little bit longer to wait for this confirmation. But if this goes down, uh, as you can see, not a whole lot of uh, fake outs here. You got some brief hesitation back in uh, March of 2021. Uh, if you remember back in then, right before our massive drop. And in May, right, if you might remember, our drop was in May. Um, look at what this indicator showed you on April 19th, even, the week of April 19th. Uh, big warning signs were there uh, using this indicator. So if you're watching this long, um, kudos to you. A uh, little bit uh, helpful bonus there. And uh, for those of you on Patreon, I'll talk more about this and how to um, read more into it um, if you're interested. So I'll check you out there if you'd like. Um, what else do we got? Let's go check the DXY briefly. We haven't made a video in a while, so why not? And this also, you guessed it, uh, works for the DXY, uh, this indicator. And look what has just crossed on the weekly for the DXY. Uh, not great news for crypto. So um, let's go look at what DXY is doing on the price charts. Sip of water. So um, any kind of, uh, we've now closed, I mean, multiple daily candles now uh at, at you know 20 20 20 year highs okay let's go to the weekly and look at the bigger picture for the dxy briefly uh we just closed uh last friday the highest weekly candle in over 20 years uh that's that's bull mode okay so uh be don't fall for all the little reversals like today look at all the coins bouncing up a little bit right uh we're not going anywhere in a big way until this reverses and we know just like a bull market, uh, for for the bears to come out on the DXY, we need to not only close under the 8, we need to close under the 14, which we haven't done uh, in a long time, but in a bigger way, the 21 week. Until the DXY closes at least one candle under the 21 week, crypto is not going anywhere. Uh, if, no, there should be no mention of a crypto bull run uh, until the DXY is closing at least a weekly candle under the 21 week period. So keep that in mind. The DXY is looking ready to continue its uh, fueled uh, rocket ship run. Um, you know, our next kind of uh, our potential area for a top. Yeah, you guessed it 20 years ago uh, on the weekly chart. We got to go way back here, uh, which I'm sure you've all seen at this point, right? Uh, we're, we're, we're looking back in here, right? Um, you know, the earliest is you, you got to be looking at 115 to 120. Um, for it and we i mean look how uh, parabolic that one was straight up right uh we're not even going that straight up right now so it could have a long ways to go right i've talked about you know months ago that we, we we could we could be here i mean think about that right we could be here we could have uh, y literal years it, it, potentially you got to be ready for that you got to be ready for you know, potential years of the dxy being still uh bullish now they'll be they could obviously pullbacks right but we could do something like this crypto goes up to 30k bitcoin goes to 30k and then it goes up again and crypto goes back down to 20k right there's that possibility uh greater than zero chance right there's nothing's impossible in crypto um so don't get too bullish until you start seeing the bigger things uh play out so that's my two cents that's my rambles for the day uh 15 minutes i know that was a long one um but watch that Check out that uh, indicator. 
Uh, and if you have more questions, let me know. If you want to see something else covered, let me know. Um, and beyond that, um, just bearish sentiment, right? Bearish sentiment uh, until proven otherwise. And now you know what to be watching for in the bigger scale. We have plenty of time ahead. Um, don't feel like you're going to get left out. I'd rather you miss the bottom 5-10% and be, be a little bit more safe in your bullish trade than, uh, you know, to buy these these little bounces that we're going to get uh, for the next months to years, right? Be, be prepared to imagine uh, 12 months from now, Bitcoin is at 22K, right? If you don't think that's possible, uh, it's possible, right? It's also possible it's at 45K or 60K, right? It, it's possible. But be prepared. Don't be too deterministic in anything that you're thinking in life or in crypto, especially, right? Uh, so that's my two cents on that. Uh, let's get to quote of the day real quick uh, for the one of you that like it. <laughs> I'm going to still do it. I don't care. I'll write it to death. <laughs> uh, thinking the talking of the soul with itself by Plato. That old idiot. <laughs> Just kidding. It's a joke. Just a joke. Don't take offense if you're related to him. <laughs> All right, uh, car of the day. I, I said no hypercars in the bear market, but I had to make an exception because, uh, you know, just a couple days ago, McLaren announced this one. Um, the McLaren Solus, uh, S-O-L-U-S, uh, probably the most insane looking hypercar I've ever seen. Um, all carbon, right? McLaren logos everywhere, subtly, if you see it right there, built into the chassis right there. But look at this. This whole front comes forward. Uh, if you're like, what the hell are you talking about? There you go. It's like a cockpit. And it only seats one. Solus, right? Um, one. One person sits in there. Uh, they're all sold out. I think they only made 40. They're already gone. <laughs> Not even in production yet. Sold out completely. Uh, but pretty amazing nonetheless. And they get crazier in the back. Look at that. That's what she said. Uh, <laughs> uh, we're looking at probably the most interesting um, rear design I've ever seen on a car. Uh, look at those. <laughs> look at that diffuser. Uh, all right, that's it. Maybe you've never seen this one before. Maybe not. Maybe if you have, let me know. If you haven't, let me know. If you don't care, don't let me know. Um, that's all I got on this video. Uh, maybe a zoom in view. Of, there you go. Uh, I'll see you on the next one. Maybe we'll, we'll probably cut down a little bit. I mean, I'll only get a couple hundred views on this video, but for those couple hundred of you that watched it, I appreciate you. Um, we'll be back in full force once, you know, the steam picks up. But there's not a not that you don't need daily updates, right? We're not like I said, it's a long, slow grind. Uh, maybe once or twice a week we'll do some updates now um, just to keep you on the loop. If obviously if there's anything major going on, you know, we'll do maybe a couple more updates or, you know, watch this level, watch that level. Um, occasionally I'll post those kind of things on Twitter. Uh, I have a free telegram. Join that if you want kind of some more of that stuff um patreon in the bear market um for learning right we're there for learning um a little bit more heads up tips and tricks there uh daily updates still and patreon if you're interested in, in anything like that uh that's linked below i have nothing else those that's it so if you ever get a message from me i'm probably not uh, i don't message anybody so i'll never ask for anything like that so don't fall for any scams in the bears in the bear market so i'll see you on the next one uh, kudos to you if you've watched this long. 57 gold stars. You deserve it.